On the eve, footage from the Sudza district appeared on the internet, in which local residents ask Putin to help evacuate civilians. They claim that fighting in the region continues, although propaganda media write that the Ukrainian armed forces are allegedly already completely defeated. One of the women in the video stated that on August the 6th, foreign troops entered the territory of the Kursk region accompanied by NATO equipment, the channel Ukraine 365 reports. Residents of Sudza said that their houses were destroyed and they themselves were unable to leave the area. The local authorities have not yet organized the evacuation and people are saving themselves as best they can. At the same time, there is no communication in the area and it is impossible to reach those who remained in the territory where the fighting is taking place. In the village of Guevo, people flee by boat across the river and run into the forest. Kursk residents do not believe local media, which report that the Ukrainian armed forces have been stopped. According to them, the territory of Malaya Loknia is 90% under the Ukrainian armed forces. People said that they constantly live under fire and are used to it, but they should not be abandoned to their fate, but rather evacuated as quickly as possible. The source writes that since August the 6th, only 3,000 people have been evacuated from the territory of the Kursk region. Meanwhile, the Russian dictator promised the residents of the Kursk region not evacuation, but monetary compensation in the amount of 10,000 rubles. During the two years of war, local authorities took no action to evacuate civilians living in the border area. Earlier reported that 15 kilometers from Rilsk, the Ukrainian armed forces covered a column of enemy military equipment with targeted fire. Ukrainian troops surprise incursion on Russia's Kursk region this week that was the largest ever on Russian territory since the start of the war, has placed President Vladimir Putin in a tough spot. As many as 1,000 Ukrainian troops equipped with 20 armored vehicles and 10 tanks launched an offensive on Russia's Kursk region bordering Ukraine on August 6. The incident marked the first case of Russia being invaded by another country since World War II. Bloomberg Agency has described Ukraine's incursion into Russia as an evident embarrassment of Vladimir Putin. According to Bloomberg, the attack on Kursk undermined the Kremlin's carefully constructed image of Putin as the protector of ordinary Russians. It also exposed fragility of Russian border defenses and boosted Ukrainian troops' morale against the backdrop of the war spilling over to the Russian territory. Grim-faced, Kremlin leader summoned top defense and security officials on Wednesday. Addressing the meeting with heads of security agencies, the general staff, the defense ministry, and the Federal Security Service FSB, Putin described Ukraine's surprise attack on Russian territory as a large-scale provocation. Following the attack Russian Defense Ministry stated that its forces backed by artillery and warplanes didn't allow the enemy to advance deeper into the territory of the Russian Federation, adding that Ukrainian troops suffered heavy losses in the attack. However, according to the Washington-based Institute for the Study of War, as of Wednesday, Ukrainian troops had advanced as much as 10 kilometers into Russian territory.